The mistreatment of Haitians seeking refuge on Biden's watch follows a long history of discriminatory treatment of Haitians who flee their country in search of a better life, Henderson told me. He's right, it is a history that I know all too well, and a story that seems to be repeating itself. In December 1992, I boarded a 10-seat, you military charter plane in Florida for a three-hour flight to the American naval base at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. For months I had been denied permission to visit the U military outpost. As a journalist, I wanted to see how Haitians who fled their country in the wake of the violent coup that ousted Jean Bertrand Aristide, Haiti's first democratically elected president, were being treated by the government of Republican President George H.W. Bush. That permission came only after I managed to reach by phone General Colin Powell, then chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, who cleared the way for me to visit the base. What I saw when I arrived there, I wrote at the time, was a scene more reminiscent of a Nazi Stalag than what most Americans would expect of a U. Outside, the tent city was surrounded by doubled rows of barbed wire and heavily armed U soldiers. The Bush administration called these Haitian refugees migrants, a term that sought to make more palatable its decision to return nearly all of them to an uncertain fate in Haiti. 